A fundamental principle of training is selecting exercises based on your goals. So today I'm going to be talking about health, longevity, and general fitness. I'm not interested in specializing in pure strength or pure endurance. I'm talking about improving and maintaining your health and fitness over the course of your life. So with these goals in mind, I have a few things to consider when selecting exercises. So consideration number one, select exercises that encourage good relative strength because these exercises will encourage good body composition. By good body composition, I mean being lean and relatively muscular. Now in terms of fitness, good body composition is gonna give you a good blend of athletic attributes. And in terms of health and longevity, it's probably the biggest factor you can control in reducing your disease risk. You know, and this includes everything from heart disease, stroke, diabetes, cancer, autoimmunity, arthritis, Alzheimer's, even back pain. So consideration number two, select exercises that increase your work capacity and have a conditioning component. Now in terms of fitness, being really strong is great, but if you're getting smoked climbing a flight of stairs because your conditioning is so poor, I'm not convinced that's a particularly useful quality. So I want the physical capacity to be able to exert myself hard for an extended period of time. So I'm physically prepared for a variety of tasks. You know, I could run hard, hike, swim, fight, carry something heavy up a hill if I have to. I can do these things without passing out or throwing up in the process. In terms of health and longevity, these types of exercises help you maintain cardiorespiratory fitness and all of the cardiometabolic health benefits that are associated with being fit. So being in shape also ensures that you can maintain a high level of physical activity later into life so you can maintain your body composition. Consideration number three, select exercises with a low injury risk. So in terms of fitness, nothing derails your ability to stay fit and maintain good body composition like being injured. So pick exercises that you tolerate well. And in terms of health and longevity, keep in mind the injuries that you sustain when you're young, they're gonna come back to haunt you when you're older. And if you wreck your body when you're young doing a bunch of stupid stuff, you're gonna be limiting your capacity to exercise when you're old. And if you can't exercise when you're old, it's gonna be harder to maintain your body composition and your fitness as you age. Consideration number four, select exercises that move your body through space because these exercises build your balance and your body awareness. And in terms of fitness, you now being comfortable moving your body through space against resistance, it's gonna better prepare you for moving your body through space against resistance, which is pretty much every athletic scenario you're likely to encounter in real life. And in terms of health and longevity, keep in mind you preserve that which you use. So if you don't challenge your balance, you're not gonna preserve your balance. And sitting on a machine doing leg extensions is not going to challenge your balance. It's not gonna preserve your balance. Consideration number five, select exercises that allow you to train outside at least some of the time. And in terms of fitness, this can really help your compliance. Most people find training outside more enjoyable than training inside of a gym. And in terms of health and longevity, you get all sorts of benefits from being outdoors, such as vitamin D, nitric oxide production, improved sleep quality through sleep cycle regulation, all these things that can positively impact your health. So these are the things that I consider when selecting exercises for health, fitness, and longevity. And I think you can make a pretty strong case that basic calisthenics are excellent exercises for these uh, purposes.